assuming that we get through this either this year or early next we've got a pretty good shot at having a decent year because most of the economic indicators are driving in a pretty positive direction and you're seeing some of this playing out this year consumers the good old american consumer apparently we're tired of waiting um it's like nothing really has improved the job situation has not gotten markedly better people's wages have not gone up there's been really no reason for consumers to get excited but they are anyway um and when people are being asked you know why are you consuming you're getting really insightful economic responses like i'm just tired of pretending i'm poor it's just like i'm gonna have a good christmas anyway i'll worry about it next year debt's going back up remember three or four years ago when everyone was saying aha the americans have now become fiscally responsible they are going to deleverage they're going to pay their debt down that lasted for about a year and a half um we're now back to spending like we always do on credit card credit card debt's going up our saving rates are going down we're kind of going back to what we normally do and you've been sort of seeing this play out all year back to school was a pretty powerful uh, indicator that the economy was beginning to turn then we had halloween halloween once again set records this was the biggest halloween yet the average american now is spending 370 bucks on halloween it is the second largest spending holiday in the u.s calendar if you are not one of those people look around one of those people has the inflatables in their front yard um <laughs> so and and to be honest i'm you know skewing the norm i love halloween uh, we had 200 some odd trick-or-treaters and i was so proud this year i had a new pair of zombies and a zombie dog so you know um halloween is a big deal next comes black friday so far this is stacking up to pretty a pretty good black friday black friday weekend um i don't know that the stores are even bothering to close on thanksgiving now um it's just you know come on in spend your money um i'm waiting for walmart to actually start serving turkey dinner in the store um so but the indications are people are planning to spend uh, the estimate is something around 10 to 20 percent more than they spent last year and then you've got the very tail end of the christmas season and that's always the most fun because that's when the american male saves christmas and we do this every year in exactly the same way retailers have now studied this in detail they know that 80 percent of what men buy on the last two days before christmas is returned um so the retailers bring all the junk up first because they know men will buy anything and they take their good inventory and pull it off the floor and they put it back waiting till after christmas so that when the women come back with the crap that we bought them they have something they can buy and and on average women will spend four times more than the man did uh when they bring the gift back so once again men saving christmas it really is astonishing how simple a gender we actually are and how retailers are finally figuring this out sd lauder did a study which they kept secret for years because they actually studied what men found attractive because one of the things that women notice every year is that men have absolutely no taste in perfume um and will bring back the most ghastly scents on on record well ladies the reason for this is that when men were asked what their four most favored scents are cinnamon rolls motor oil new car smell and barbecue sauce um, <laughs> so if you're looking for something to entice the male a little 10w40 slap a couple honey buns on your head and you're good to go we have seen a decent year when it comes to car buying and part of this was pent up demand but part of it goes back to the fact that the average age of the u.s car now is 10.9 years i mean they're getting a little elderly and people have a reason to start replacing them and it's been relatively easy to get a car loan um banks have been sort of robbed of some of their traditional business they're not doing as much mortgage work as they used to they don't really want to take on anything particularly risky so what they've done is way opened up car loans um you can get from many banks now a car loan if you make 
200 bucks a week. The banks were like, hey, worst comes to worst, we'll take the car back. Of course, some banks are already discovering that they're now running an enormous used car lot, um, 